Tonight, we begin with an unusual trend that's becoming more and more usual. It's called goat yoga. Yoga has long been appreciated for its physical and mental properties, but add a baby goat and you up the mental ante even more. Our Jolene DeRosier explains. Yoga is quiet, peaceful, zen, until you add a bunch of goats. It's not for serious yogis, it's more for the love of nature, animals, and an unusually good time. People know the, the physical and mental benefits of yoga. Um, science has proven it to reduce depression and anxiety, bring on a sense of calm. Well, nature therapy and animal therapy have similar effects on our bodies. So here at Old McDonald's Farm, we've just taken all three, yoga, the animal therapy, the nature therapy, and uh, combined them into one, and it's perfect. The goats are very carefree and loving and playful animals, so just is a perfect fit. So perfect that if you don't claim your spot in time, you can't come and stretch with the goats, or whatever it is they want you to do. They usually want food or a place to rest, or climb, or headbutt. But still, goat yoga is a hot commodity, and participants, even if their hair is oh at God. stake, are loving it. Oh, God! <laughs> one with the goats. <laughs> this was uh, interesting. It was fun. I loved it. Uh, it's kind of hard trying to do the moves and have the goats around. Like I said, the outside elements, it makes it even harder. So you have to concentrate even more. <laughs> it's so peaceful to do yoga out in nature and enjoy it. Um, and then there's something just fun about doing it with goats. You know, they're such fun little creatures with their personalities and to have them walking around, jumping on you, it's just, it's an added uh, fun you know, element to yoga. But having a little goat on you, you feel their little hooves on your back and he started to eat my hair. Um, so it's, it's very fun. I mean, the, the baby goats are just so cute and you want to take one home with you. This is my first time in a formal, well, sort of informal, but uh, yoga class period. Uh, and we had a great time today. I mean, we're on the farm. I guess I expected the sounds and smells of a farm, which is amazing. I grew up on a farm and uh, having the goats around was, just an added pleasure. <laughs> uh, my expectation was pretty much just petting goats. I didn't really expect for much yoga to happen, which it really didn't. I'm not a big yogi type person. I was more here for the goats than the yoga, but it was a good blend of both. Some folks here are regulars. Stretching, sure, that's great, but laughing, loving, and spending time with goats is the real reason they showed up. I mean, everyone was having a good time. It was, it was relaxed, uh, but Everyone was, was also laughing and enjoying themselves. Uh, not your typical yoga class. I think when you do anything outside, it's always really good for your mental health and all the senses. You have sight and touch and scent, maybe not so much at a farm, um, but you're able to really use all of your senses to get a tr full, true experience. I have not done goat yoga before. <laughs> what compelled you to come to this class? I, I think with the outdoor elements, like just being outside in, in nature and stuff and something different, the tip, not the typical yoga that you usually do where it's like namaste, quiet and you know, hearing your heartbeats going. <laughs> you have to be careful, they're pretty mischievous. Uh, they'll they'll chew on things. They chewed my husband's shoelaces off one, one time. Um, <laughs> but um, for the most part, they're just very playful and just love to be around the people. I originally decided to uh, participate because I thought it would open the door for people that hadn't tried yoga to experience a yoga class. And that's exactly what I'm finding. Most of the people that come, come to be on the farm, to be with the animals, and then they get to experience a yoga class and I often have people come up afterwards asking where I teach and where they can take more classes. Just when you thought you tried everything, you learned that there's one more really cool experience to add to your bucket list. In Sackets Harbor, I'm Jolene DeRosier for WPBS Weekly. 
If you're ready to try this fun and mentally uplifting class, there are two more before the season ends, Sunday, August 29th and Sunday, September 12th. Visit oldmcdonaldhasafarm.com and click the Buy Your Online Tickets button. The classes take place on the farm in Sackett's Harbor.